Hi there, this is Andre from uh, Cloud Solutions. Uh, we're a Zoho consultant and also we're working with a club that uses the Loyverse point, uh, point of sale system. I want to show you some of the integration uh, we've done um, just so that you can appreciate what's possible between the two products. Uh, the first one we'll share with you is approving members to be able to charge a tab or to use a tab in the Loyverse system and therefore provide that customer and member detail available to the people working in the bar. So this particular club doesn't have a restaurant, it's really only a bar, but I believe the same concepts could be applied in that situation. Uh, the second thing is then to allow the tab to be closed during that shift and immediately an invoice uh, would be created in the Zoho Book system uh, so the person looking after the accounts can then uh, send that invoice out to the customer so or member. So uh, often of course these people will be different um, so this is an easy way A to have customers approved uh, or members approved that can open and tab and then secondly, for the bar people to know that the tab will be immediately um, closed within the shift and the invoice sent out to the customer. Okay, let's assume we've had a, a request for this member, Brett, to be, a, uh, be able to open a tab. The accountants or the bookkeepers got no problem with that. So we can go into this member's record just to edit the details of the record and come down to one of our custom fields and you see we've added a field called Loyverse so we can simply click on that and that's all required and if we go across to the admin panel and we look at customers we should see in a, a, a minute or so that that record has been added give it another few seconds and you can see that record has uh, now been added. So if I was to go across to um, the uh, POS system, we now have the ability to open a tab for Brett. So if we click on the plus button, you'll see Brett's now um, available to be added. He can now have some drinks and we can save this to the um, tab. So we'll just say this is the uh, uh, potluck dinner and save it. He may come back for another couple of drinks and we can uh, also save that. Or we can just save for it. Or of course you can add the customer name but I'll just show you that we can obviously then merge these two together and use the original um, account. Now we can open the ticket, reload the $25 of drinks and we can now charge. So assuming at the end of the night uh, he uh, wants to settle or, or the bar's closing and he's gone home then we can just come down here and we've got an option on your payment screen for on account so simply press the on account and that's all we have to do we could certainly send an email uh, with the receipt so he knows that there's a um, bill on the way for that much and then we just wait a moment and it will be uh, available in the accounting system. Um, also of course we can have uh, the same option on the mobile phone so if uh, you had the uh, club captain or something there and, and there was a request um, at the same time for uh, an account to be opened that person could simply come into the account details here and edit the record and also add the fact that that person can uh, be a member or open a tab and that would also immediately um, start working. 
So let's uh, now go across to books again and let's have a look at the transactions. And you'll see, sure enough, the $25 is there sitting in draft, including the details of the drinks that uh, he purchased, the potluck dinner, and the accountant now can now approve that uh, because it was in draft and email it out to the member. So that, that all works very well. So I think that's very useful uh, in some club situations, in fact, any bar situation where you've got someone wanting to use a tab and a regular customer or a member. Now the next issue that uh, I want to share with you is the integration with the uh, Loiverse and Zoho Books is about shift information. So what we want to do with the end of shift information is uh, once again because of the disconnect between the accounting or the bookkeeping people and the bar, uh, we want to make sure that the information captured is not altered, um, is secure, and can be shared immediately the shift is closed. So what we've integrated with the system is we generate an email to the treasurer, or obviously it can go to the bookkeeper, or it can go to the uh, manager as well um, for the bar, providing a summary of each shift's activities. So as soon as they close out the shift, an email is generated with all of that uh, data. Uh, and also at the same time, uh, a bar revenue tax invoice is recre created in Zoho Books for each shift. So even if you're operating more than one bar in your uh, store or in your location, that uh, invoice can be created immediately there, um, that is uh, shift is closed. And this allows the bookkeeper um, or the treasurer to then reconcile that data with the takings uh, in cash that is collected and also the uh, revenue processed by card transactions. So let's have a look at how that will work. Okay, we've got to <clears throat> have a look at the shift now and um, I'll add a couple more tickets to the um, system and then we'll close the shift for the evening. Now, I don't know how much cash there is, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll put that we collected that much, and it's obviously going to tell me if it's a difference. Okay, so the shift is now closed, and what I expect to happen now is an email being generated and sent to our treasurer, and also a draft invoice created in Soho Box. So let's go and have a look if that's happened. Okay, now you can see the uh, summary has arrived. So I can actually open that summary and you can see it's telling me exactly the uh, starting position, the closing position, the difference in cash, our sales and how many card payments that we've processed. So that's the first step is actually showing the uh, email to whoever needs to see it and the treasurer has been notified that we had the bar open on this particular day and what the summary was for those um, activities. Now we can have a look at uh, the books, Zoho books, and see if the invoice has been created. And here we are here. So it's automatically been created in Zoho books. The revenue has been included, including the GST. And as we scroll down, you'll also see the summary, the differences, etc., all being included in the invoice. Now it's up to the treasurer to reconcile the uh, statements or the cash once it's received, and also to check the card payments and make any appropriate adjustments to the revenue for that day. Okay, finally, just to summarize what we've shown, um, our contact details are down there, inquiry at cloudsolutions.asia if you need to ask more questions, need to learn a bit more, 
but this is basically what we've um, been able to show you and achieve with this integration. Okay, firstly, the benefits have been a level of control on who can open the tab and the communication between the bar uh, or, or the restaurant and the treasurer stroke bookkeeper on invoicing a customer or a member if they have had the permission to have a tab and, and ran a tab. The automation of shift information being sent to the appropriate people without the ability for the information to be altered, this, this is done immediately. And the automation of an invoice uh, creation in Box, Zoho Books, and both those functions above uh, creates accuracy, creates timeliness, and is, is just much better way to communicate, uh, particularly in an organisation that could be run by volunteers uh, and uh, certainly may not be located on premise. So this ability to provide this information uh, really helps uh, the financial side of the business. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope this was useful.